Hello, I am Siddharth Sharma from Arya College of Engineering IIT and from Department of Mechanical Engineering. I am presenting my presentation on hydroelectric power plant essential parts, layout and their performance. These are the content which would I cover in upcoming slides that is introduction of hydroelectric power plant, layout of hydroelectric power plant, essential elements of hydroelectric power plant performance and their characteristics of the turbine. Now introduction, in hydroelectric power plant, water is utilized to move the turbine which in turn the electric generator. The potential energy of water is stored in the dam, gets converted into kinetic energy of the moving water in the pen stock. And this kinetic energy gets converted into electrical energy with the help of set of turbine and generator. Hydraulic power plant was generated by HF Rogers. This is a simple layout of hydroelectric power plant in which we can easily see that it contains of dam, then pen stock. At the end of pen stock, there is a nozzle from which water is coming to the turbine. Turbine is having veins and turbine is a rotating part of a hydroelectric power plant. Water comes from the dam with the help of pen stock and with the help of nozzle, kinetic energy gets increased and with the increased kinetic energy, the turbine gets rotation and then hydraulic energy is converted into mechanical energy. Further, this mechanical energy is converted into electric energy by means of generator. This is the essential element of hydraulic dam. dam. Dam is a reservoir for collecting the water. Pen stock is a path or a pipe for flowing the water to the dam from the dam to the turbine. It is the connecting pipe between the dam and the turbine now is help to increase kinetic energy of the water coming from the dam. Again important part is the turbine. Turbine is a very light fan like structure having many number of blades. It has an ability to rotate on its axis when water passes through it as I already told in the layout of the turbine. Generator is a device which convert DC direct current into the alternating current producing during the rotation of the turbine draft. Now performance of the turbine. Turbine are often required to work under varying condition like unit head speed output gate opening as such in order to predict their behavior it is essential to study the performance of the turbine. Keeping the head and the speed constant, the output may vary by adjusting the discharge. In similar way, by keeping the discharge and the head constant, we output may vary by disturbing the speed. Working under low head, the head of water and speed may vary, although the speed is allowed to fluctuate within narrow permissible limit. Keeping the head and discharge constant, the speed may vary by adjusting the load on the turbine. These conditions are possible only in the laboratories. Now characteristics of the turbine. We always study the following three characteristics of the turbine under a unit head while comparing the performance of the turbine. For draw the characteristic curve, we keep in the mind three points that is unit power, unit speed and unit discharge and characteristics curve will be drawn against unit speed, unit power and unit discharge. Now we will study the significance of the unit power, unit speed and the unit discharge. First we will read the significance of unit power. Unit power is given by P1 is equal to P into H1 by H ratio 3 by 2. Here P and H denoted the power and head respectively and P1 and H1 denoted the power and head at the unit all the unit conditions now significance of the unit speed it is given by n1 that is unit speed is equal to n into h1 by h ratio 1 by 2 here n1 is speed under the head h1 capital n is speed of under head and h is head of the water under which turbine is working now significance of unit discharge q1 is equal to q into h1 by h ratio 1 by 2 h is head of the water under which turbine is working q is equal to discharge under head of the h and q1 is equal to discharge under the head of the h1